So we're starting a vlog in my car, which I don't think I've ever done. But this vlog is exciting because I'm going on a solo riding retreat road trip thing. So here we go. So I'm currently on my way to Starbucks. I'm gonna grab a coffee. And then I'm off to Kingston, Ontario. I honestly really love writing in hotel rooms. It's actually been quite a while since I've written in a hotel room, obviously, pandemic. But I feel like I get a lot of work done. I'm able to concentrate more and it's just, it's just a good time. There's a boy in the car next to me. Kinda looks like Edward Cullen. I'm so damn excited. I haven't done like a solo writing retreat in forever. I haven't been in a hotel forever. I haven't been to Kingston in forever. It's just, it's gonna be a good two days. I don't I have no luck. I don't miss it all that much. She's so to talk about what I'll be doing here. I really love Kingston. I've been here before. I've stayed here before. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but I just I just love it here. So it's about two and a half hours east of where I currently live in Toronto. And if you know anything about Ben, the novel that I'm currently writing, you know that there is a road trip element. They're driving to the east coast of Canada. So the part that I'm writing right now takes place in Kingston, Ontario. So yeah, things just kind of lined up and I thought it would be really cool to kind of go on the road trip with them. I wish I could do the whole road trip with them. I love the east coast so much, but I thought it'd be really cool to write the scene that takes place in Kingston while I'm in Kingston, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm really excited and I'm hoping to get a lot of writing done and just like relax, you know? I just wanna relax, I just wanna have a good time. Okay, so here is where I enter. There's where I hang my coat. This is kind of the little inner hallway. This is the kind of pre-bathroom, I don't know, kitchen closet area. And then here, the bathroom's actually really cute. So this is the bathroom. It's got this really big mirror and the lighting in here, so good. This is where I'm putting my keys. This is the coffee area, this is my mask. This is the desk area. I will definitely be writing here at some point. And then this is the rest of the room. So I splurged on a corner suite because I just love this view. I love that the lake is frozen. It's just so good. And then on this side, there's more lake and city. I have a whole couch. I'll likely be writing on the couch at some point. Definitely writing on the bed. I'm gonna do everything on the bed, for sure. So yeah, this is it, this is the room, and I'm pretty sure, so when I came in here, I was like, where's the TV? <laughs> I was a little bit confused, but then I thought, this looks like a TV pops out of it. So, I did find this little button here. I'm hoping that that is the um, TV button. <sighs> Wow, that goes really high. Looking for changing myself. Taking the easy way out is never gonna take me there. The more that I loosen the grip, the harder it is to forget that I'm the one who keeps me here. I'm holding the key in my head, trying to stick to the plan.
morning at about 7.30. I ended up ordering myself a Belgian waffle and it was so good. So my plan for today, this is my plan. It's about 10.15 right now. I'm gonna do a little bit of writing and then I'm gonna leave around noon. I'm gonna do my secret project thing and then I'm gonna explore the town a little bit. I'll probably go for lunch. There's a specific place that I wanna go to for lunch, which is actually the type of place that my characters go for lunch. So I'm gonna go do that. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm basically gonna spend the evening just continuing to write. So I meant to print out the next couple scenes at home so I can bring them and work on them here because I am, I'm basically almost done scene four of chapter six right now. But this last scene in chapter six and all three scenes of chapter seven are so short. They're like basically nothing. I'm, I have to essentially draft everything. I think altogether all four scenes are like maybe a thousand words. I don't even think it gets up to a thousand words. That's, there's like so little written. So I'm basically on my own here. I have to do a lot of uh, drafting. I have to do a lot of drafting. My goal first and foremost is to finish chapter six. That would be awesome. But yeah, right now I'm just kind of putting some finishing touches on scene four of chapter six. And then I just have scene five, which in the zero draft is like 200 and something words. It'll be a bit longer than that, but it's gonna be another kind of fairly short scene. So I'm feeling pretty good about finishing chapter six here. I know a girl who's so fine, she's running laps around my heart. She's more than perfect, she's not the type to go play a part. She came and killed my whole life and just like Mike Tyson, now I'm here seeing stars. I could take all of my time just trying to describe her I don't know where to start All my life I knew she's my baby I can't hide it making me crazy Sometimes I close my eyes and dream about when we met in high school And I've been trying to tell her this lately She's more father rock in the 80s I think about her when I sleep Like back when we were 17 It's almost 8. It's almost 8 p.m. right now. I spent a large portion of the afternoon after I got home from kind of exploring just laying in bed with a um, really bad headache. So while I was doing a little bit of exploring earlier, I decided to get uh, a Starbucks coffee. I'm usually pretty good with frappuccinos, but there was a there was some like, I don't know, a cold brew something or other um, that I wanted to try. So I tried it and I, I got a decaf. I mean, I'm assuming that it was the coffee that gave me the headache, but I, you know, I got a decaf coffee and drank it and enjoyed it thoroughly but then my brain was like mm -mm. so I've been feeling a little sick my head is definitely hurting but I do want to get some more writing done I really want to finish this last scene in chapter six so that I can at least be done chapter six while I'm here that would be that would be awesome and so it is a fairly short scene the zero draft is 284 words it's gonna be a little bit longer than that but again I don't see it being too much longer than that like I don't I don't see it being more than like 1500 words tops so even though I'm still feeling a bit sick I am gonna try to do some more writing I'm also gonna order some room service dinner soon I'm gonna get a Caesar salad because I've been thinking about it since yesterday so I ended up buying this book it's called the lost pharaohs Oh, it just smells like used bookstore. I think I just really want to collect a bunch of books on Egypt and Egyptology and dinosaurs. I need to continue my dinosaur book collection as well because I love dinosaurs. I love paleontology. I love archaeology. I love it all. I love history. I love all that stuff and I just want to collect collect them all. But yeah, as far as where I am in the book right now, I am on, so I finished scene four. I don't know if I mentioned that. I have finished scene four. It's better than the zero draft, but still definitely needs some work. And I'm currently about 103 words into the last scene of chapter six, which is scene five. Again, I don't think this is gonna be super long, but I definitely need a lot more detail because the zero draft is very, very bare bones. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be working on basically until my room service gets here. Then I'm gonna take a little break and probably watch a movie. And then hopefully depending on how I'm feeling, I'm gonna try to finish this scene. Because because chapter seven is, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna take me a while, I think, to finish that chapter, so. 
This lighting is really not doing anything for my schnoz. So yeah, I'm gonna do some writing and order my room service and then I'll update you later. Okay, so my room service is here. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna watch some Netflix and then I'm gonna do some more writing. So I did get part way into the scene. I'm feeling pretty good about um, what I've added so far. I've definitely added a lot more. There's more substance to it, you know? And I also added a cute little kind of um, piece of dialogue that I didn't have in the original. So it's definitely feeling better. So I'm gonna eat right now. I don't feel well. So I'm hoping a little bit of food will make me feel better so I can continue writing, but we'll see, you know? Sometimes you don't feel well and you can't do the writing even though you really want to do the writing and the whole reason you came here was to do some writing. Sometimes the body just says no, so. Okay, so today is Saturday. It's March 26th. It's been a couple days since I've been back from my little writing retreat. I feel like I'm still buzzing from that trip. Like it was so, it was so good. I'm honestly really grateful that I'm in a position where I was able to do that both with my time and with my money. I definitely recognize the privilege in being able to, you know, take time off work and go to another city and stay in a hotel. Like I, I recognize that that's a huge privilege and I really am so grateful that I'm able to do that. So on the last day, the Tuesday, which is actually kind of more of a half day, I had to check out at noon. I did very little vlogging, but a lot more writing, which made me very happy. So that morning before I had to check out at noon, I managed to write 721 words. And those 721 words accomplished two very important things. The first being that it completed chapter six. I am officially done chapter six. And the second very important thing that those 721 words accomplished is... I finally did it. I finally got to the 10,000 word goal that I had, I don't know, since like December. I, yeah, I bought this back in December. This has been sitting in my freezer. Do you know the amount of willpower I had to have to not open this. It's insane. I don't know how I managed to do it. I originally was gonna eat it as soon as I got back from Kingston, but I thought, you know what? No, I'm gonna save it so that I can eat it on camera with you guys. Cause I feel like you guys all really came on this journey with me, this 10,000 word haagen coffee ice cream journey. And I just wanted to eat it with you guys. I just feel like we were all in this together and I wanted you to witness me enjoying the fruits of my labor. Oh my God, tears are coming to my eyes. It is so good. Why is this ice cream so good? Like it tastes like 10,000 words. Honestly, if you have never had haagen coffee ice cream and you like coffee and you're able to eat dairy, do it. I definitely shouldn't be eating dairy, but I'll do it for haagen coffee ice cream. I'll do it. Like it's so good, it's like disgusting. I just wanna thank everybody who was on this journey with me. We did it, okay? We made it. It was worth every single word. So yeah, I really just wanted to share that moment with you. So for chapter seven of Ben, I'm gonna be trying something that I've never done before. And I'm very, very excited about it. I'm nervous, but I'm also very, very excited. But I'll be talking about that in my next vlog. As we all know, Camp Nano is coming up. It's next month, it's April, and I'm very excited for it. So I'll be talking about what my April camp goals and plans are in my next vlog as well. But know that yes, I will be participating and yes, I will be working on Ben. So yeah, let me know how you're doing. Let me know if you have ever been on a solo writing retreat let me know if you've ever done like hotel room writing if you love it if you hate it and let me know if you're participating in april camp and what you're going to be working on so thank you so much for watching and if you got to the end of this video comment down below stay gold because you are golden and yeah i'll see you in the next one